I've always felt that data management and reporting is one of the most challenging parts of any sound and vibration measurement. And by the end of this video, we'll have gone from process data all the way through generating our report. So here we're going to start off with some already processed data here in Pulse Reflex. We can see the process chain that was used included some FFT results and CPB results, as well as some sound quality metrics. And all of that data was stored over here into the process data folder on the project browser. Now to go through and do some of the data comparison and reporting, I'm simply gonna take all of my results and drag them up here into the data table viewer. I can start off by sorting the data to only look at my one third octave results. And I can simply select all of the data in the table. By default, all of the data is gonna be overlaid and compared together. And I can simply switch using the trace grouping in order to select how I want my data to be populated. So by going to the display titles compared, you can see that it now separates the data to be compared based on the recording name onto a whole series of separate pages. I can simply turn off the pre-grouping and have all of the data populated onto uh, this page together. I could also easily come here and say, let's compare things based on the signal name. So now I'll have all of my left ear data and all of my right ear data together. And I might look at this graph and say, you know what? I would like to populate this into my report. So I can start off with my PowerPoint report, click this icon and send these two displays off to my PowerPoint report. Now, in addition to looking at my one third octave results, I might wanna look at my FFT results as well. So I can bring up my FFT results. Maybe we'll switch things back to the display titles compared and I can select all of my results again. Now, I have 48 results that I've selected that have been populated into a whole series of displays. And I might say, again, this is a little bit difficult for me to review all of the data. And with one selection, I now have my hairdryer A, FFT results and CBB results next to each other. So my one third octave spectra, I can move the cursors around. If I want to, I can zoom in on any particular spectrum. But I can also simply click the batch reporting icon up here at the top of the table and send all 12 recordings off to my report. So there we are, we've completed populating the data into the report. Now there are of course a whole series of different ways that we can go about reviewing our data, but hopefully you're getting a sense that using a couple of the sort of predefined choices we have there in the data table viewer grouping. We can sort and group the data in a lot of unique ways. So here I have the cover page for my report. The first page of the report, again, we see the left ear and right ear next to each other. Then each page after that, we have hairdryer A and B and all the way on to look at all 14 pages of our report. 